Is luxury living on a budget in the Netherlands even possible? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you exactly how you can do just that. I broke this video down into two parts, the luxury things you can enjoy and some very luxury things you can enjoy. So let's start with the luxury. The first stop here is to have a high quality and if possible a foldable bike. Now this is a very good move and a luxury move on a budget because when you have a bike that is of higher quality, it's going to save you so much more headache in the long run it's going to reduce any kind of repair costs that might come up and if you have a foldable bike you can easily bring that with you either with your car or on public transport to bike in different cities and discover different things within the country and investing in this kind of bike is also going to ensure that hopefully you're biking more and eventually you're spending a lot less money on public transport, saving you a lot in the long run. The second luxury thing you can do on a budget is to get a discount on your yearly rail membership. So if you have an OV chip card and if it's personalized, an easy way to do that is to either go to one of the machines at a central station or go to a service desk and get the yearly discount, which means you're going to have unlimited discount for the whole year which means every time you take the train essentially you're saving money on your journey if you want to add an extra touch of luxury to this you can also get a membership discount for the first class rail travel if you've been living here you know that groceries and ordering takeaway food can sometimes be a bit of an extra expense however if you know the app too good to go you can use that in your favor to do some nice takeaway from restaurants and bakeries around you to really give yourself that luxury lifestyle without breaking the bank and paying extra for these kind of takeaway delivery. Another way you can do this is to get loyalty cards at shops where you frequently do your shopping. However, be mindful here that the loyalty cards here are maybe not as generous as they would be in a different part of the world because you still have to do a substantial amount of shopping before you even have any kind of points or any kind of additional credit to spend at a store however one thing that really gives me the sense of luxury living here is to have my Holland and Barrett loyalty card which means every time I do shopping there I'm collecting points and these points actually surprisingly add up a lot quicker in my experience than it does with other shops where you can actually then go and do some shopping with heavy discount in the next round or end up getting things free of charge. As we're slowly getting into the more luxury things you can do on a budget here, I want to mention boat rental with a group of friends and tour the canals of Amsterdam. Especially during spring and summertime, there is nothing that screams more affordable luxury than this. The costs will depend on the kind of person or the kind of company you're renting the boat from. However, if you share the costs with, you know, anywhere between five to seven friends, it's not going to break the bank and you can actually pay by the hour and enjoy the lovely landscape of the Dutch canals in Amsterdam without breaking the bank. I inserted this here because this is something that I want to do for a very, very long time. So if you want to join me in a canal tour, let me know down in the comments and maybe who knows, we will meet up when everything goes back to normal to actually do a making it in Holland Amsterdam canal tour. I mean, who wouldn't like that? I think the idea of that already gets me very excited. And on that point, I also want to mention here, book your vacations and travels in advance because that means you're going to be saving a substantial amount of money and you can actually buy more luxury holidays without too much digging into your bank account. And the best way to approach that is through local agencies that help you with all sorts of hotel and plane bookings. And obviously I'm not really talking about doing this right this moment, but when things do get better, I am imagining a lot of these companies will be going back to normal and they will still have some nice deals that you can still purchase in advance to really give that luxury feel into your life by traveling to another destination. Now moving into the very luxury things you can do on a budget. The first one here is getting a gym membership with a pool and a sauna. The reason why this is, in my opinion, counts towards luxury 
in a budget is because when you have the gym membership, you can actually go and get all your workouts done. But if you also have a pool and a sauna, that's also covering the more wellness side of being part of a human. So I think that definitely is something that elevates your experience. So before I had a membership at a gym that had a pool and it also had a sauna. So it had a steam room, sauna, ice bucket. And if you wanted, you could also book therapy massages there. So this is a little bit of a win-win situation. So when you go somewhere, you have the possibility to do both fitness and wellness without actually having those two be separate expenses. So this is a very great way to live very luxury on a budget. And I can't wait to go back to being able to do that as soon as possible. In the first part, I spoke about the app too good to go, which is a wonderful way to save money on delivery and food. However, if you want to take that up a level and have that be a very luxury thing on a budget, you can actually do takeaways from Michelin restaurants these days, given the current situation. And these Michelin restaurant takeaways do end up costing substantially less than if you were to physically go to a restaurant and order food. So this is definitely something you should uh, do at this point, take advantage of it while you can, so you can have that bit of Michelin touch with the meal that you're enjoying at home. Coming up next in this category is doing your shopping during the discount periods at Bayankorf. And Bayankorf is basically the Harrods or Saks Fifth Avenue equivalent here in the Netherlands, where you can get very high-end designer clothes as well as more medium range designer brands. And I believe this is a very good way to enjoy a luxury way of living without breaking the bank because when those things are on sale, they're going to end up costing you like you would purchase something at Zara or in Mango. So for example, if there's a really beautifully made cashmere and luxury sweater that's on discount for 50 euros from let's say 150 euros at the Bayankorf, that's a much better purchase choice versus getting a full price sweater at Zara, which is let's say 49.95. So this is a very great way that I find myself to do my shopping and it really helps me enjoy and have this luxury feel without necessarily breaking the bank because in my head I'm thinking this is how much it would have cost me to purchase this in a just standard store anyway. To add to that, there is also the designer discount in Roermond, which is located in the south of the Netherlands. Actually, a lot of Dutch people go here as well as a lot of people from Germany because it is very close to the border. And this is the designer outlet where you can find your stores like Gucci, Burberry, Prada, what have you. So if you're the kind of person who wants to enjoy that very, very elevated lifestyle, my suggestion here is to have your rail card with the discount, get on a train with your foldable bike if possible, go to Roermond, bike to the designer outlet and do all of the heart's desire shopping that you're after and then get on your bike, get on the train and then come back home. So you're actually having multiple luxury experiences on a budget all at once. As we're climbing toward the higher end of living luxury on a budget, I would here insert getting an electric car. And mind you here, this doesn't have to be Tesla. This can be an electric car from another brand. I'm not here trying to imply that electric cars are cheaper. However, if you do have an electric car, you are exempt to pay vehicle tax up until the year, I believe 2025 here in the Netherlands. So this is a very luxury thing you can do on a budget. If you don't wanna travel abroad or if you're looking to explore within the Netherlands more, a very luxury thing you can do is to get on your electric car or get on your bike or get on a train and then drive to a place where you can have in the Netherlands staycation. So you could be renting an Airbnb or you can be looking at staying in a canal house or a camping location. So I definitely do think that this is another way you can actually feel like you're living a life of luxury without breaking the bank. And the last thing I want to mention as part of this video is to think about your home location, whether you're buying or renting. If you're able to have a house that's kind of perfectly located in between a big city and a place where you can have access to nature, like a water park 
or a lake or a forest or what have you, then this is going to make living in the Netherlands feel a lot more luxurious than it is because you have the option to be in a bigger city without sort of traveling for too long and you also have the option to enjoy nature and in the Netherlands there is definitely great nature and being in a park with a lake for example crawling in in Rotterdam definitely gives you that feeling that you're living a elevated lifestyle and nature and being outside doesn't necessarily cost anything extra unless of course you want to grab a bite to eat or you want to get some coffee for a takeaway but even with that this way of living life is not really going to be breaking the bank and it's going to really contribute to living a better quality of life here in the Netherlands. So I hope you enjoyed these tips about living a life of luxury on a budget here in the Netherlands. Let me know if you're based here. What are some things you do to enjoy a feeling of living a little bit more of an elevated life? Share them with me down in the comments box because as you guys know from my previous videos, I do definitely enjoy the finer things in life and I'm always looking for different ways I can also spice up my life. And until the next episode, as usual, don't forget to stay awesome. But before you do that, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And I will see you very, very soon.